Hey guys, for Shishtar here, in today's video, we're going to show you how to install an application on your iPad Pro. Now, this is for someone new or haven't installed an application on any Apple device before. We'll walk you through the basic things you need to know to install an application. First thing you want to do is, of course, make sure that you're signed into an Apple account or create an Apple account if you need to. Now, to do that, you're going to go to Settings. Once you go to Settings, you'll notice here, right here, where it says Sign into your iPad. You click on this. And once you click on that, it will give you the option to sign into existing Apple ID. So you can use one if you have an iPhone or other device that you create Apple ID with. You can use the same account here. Now, if you want to use a different one, you can create one for free. Or if you forgot your password, you can click on you forgot your password. You can reset your password. So what we're going to do is sign into existing one that we have. Now, if you don't have existing one, as we mentioned, creating a new one is completely free you just simply click on this and then it will say create Apple ID and you can do that as well so here we're just gonna sign into our existing one we're gonna enter our password here for our email first so we're just signing in and then we're gonna hit next here to enter the password here and then we'll be able to show you the next step to do that now it's important to have Apple ID because you'll need it to do anything pretty much on your Apple devices and that's the way Apple ecosystem works. So once you have that signed in or if you're signing into it, put your email or Apple ID and then the password, hit next and then of course wait to be signed in. It will probably send a verification code which you can allow if you have another device or you can get a text message as well. So enter that code here. So we're just going to simply enter the code that we got on another device now you can also get a text message if you didn't have another device that you're signed in so that only happens if you are signed into another apple account or you have two-factor on and once you're signed in it'll ask you do you want to merge usually i don't merge theta but you can merge it that's not important for this once you have done that you'll see you're logged in and now we're ready to do app installation so we go out of that app by simply closing it by going upward and then now we're going to open up app store app store is a default application already on your ipad so you don't have to look for it if you can't find it simply search it from the top here by pulling down and it'll open up the search menu go ahead and open up app store once you open up app store it's going to ask you simply see if you want their location or something Simply, you don't have to do anything. We'll be opened up something like that where you'll get a bunch of options here. The option we're concerned with, if we want to search for our app, you'll see some of the popular ones here presented to us. Now, most apps on I, Apple Store are free to get, but there are paid ones. For, as you can see, the Procreate, you have to pay $9.99 for it. YouTube is free, for example. And you'll see all these options. So you want to download any app, you can go here at the bottom, search for that app that you need. So let's say we want to download something like maybe Facebook. So we search our Facebook and then the option comes up. You see there's a bunch of options now. If we want to download something, all we do is simply click that icon here. Now that's if you downloaded it before. Now if you never downloaded it before, you can hit that get option. You might see that if it's the first time you're downloading that app through your account, you'll get that option and you hit that get button and then it will ask you do you want to install you want to hit that install and then it will ask you for that apple id password that we signed in one more time you want to enter that so we're going to go ahead and enter that once you put in the passcode here hit that sign in option and again, it'll hit that done button. And this time, as you can see, it's loading. And this thing comes up where it says, do you want to require additional purchases? Purchases meaning it just means that basically, do you want to allow it to keep on downloading without entering the password or not? We always just say require. It doesn't matter what option you select. But you'll see here, it's downloading right now by having that icon. It will start to fill in the circle and that means the download is happening so we want to download zoom for example we click that button you can download multiple application at the very same time and you can close out this and go back to the home screen and you'll be able to see where it's being downloaded again depending on your wi-fi connection 
it could take somewhere between for each application it depends a bigger application takes a little bit longer smaller application takes a little less time also going to be defending on if you're using cellular data versus the wi-fi both works equally well but that's how you download application now if you want to download more application we can go here again search for it or see already some of them already are here you can just simply press here it'll start downloading as many application you desire and then go back here it will wait till they complete sometimes it will download simultaneously and once the applications are fully downloaded you can open them you don't want to click on any of this until it downloads because it will just pause the download but that's how you install application on your iPad Pro hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time